slimes. You really want their drops for slime blocks, sticky pistons, leads, and all kinds of other bits and pieces. I'm gonna show you how to find slime chunks really easily so you can get loads of these things. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in the High Speed Minecraft Guide. This is a series where I answer your questions in Minecraft in tutorials really, really quickly, so I better get on with it. In today's episode, we are answering the question, how do you find a slime chunk? And there is more than one way, so I'm going to show you them. The first method is considered by some to be a little bit cheaty, but you can come to the Chunk Base Slime Finder. The link is in the description below. You are going to need to know the seed of your world. And if you don't know how to get that, I'm going to show you that now. All you need to do is type slash and then seed into your chat bar and press enter. That gives you the seed number of the world. That is a very specific seed. And there is something like one quadrillion different possible seeds. So don't just make the number up. I guarantee you, you won't get it right. Then press T and put your mouse over that number. When you click it, that will copy it to your clipboard, which means you can paste it straight into chunk base. You'd have to write it down and then make some kind of scripting error when you type it back out again. You can then come back to chunk base and in this seed, right click it and paste it. And that puts that exact number in there. Make sure you've got the right version. It will work for Java and Bedrock. And when you hit return on that number right there, that will give you the slime chunks. You'll notice about 10% of the chunks are green squares and they are the slime chunks and they're the only chunks that slimes will spawn in outside of a swamp. Slimes will spawn in a swamp when the light level is seven or less between Y levels 50 and 70, as long as there's not a new moon. And they'll actually spawn quicker and more numerously if there is a full moon. However, they can spawn in any slime chunk irrelevant of the biome at Y levels under 40, and it doesn't matter what the light level is either. And that means you can select for slimes when making a slime farm. And that's why most people do the best slime farms in slime chunks dug down into the ground. It means you can select for the slimes, no other mobs get involved, and you get far more slimes for your buck. So you've got your seed and you can see your slime chunks, but that's no good if you're looking at zero, zero, and perhaps you're standing in your world at minus 10,000, 10,000, which as it happens is exactly where I'm standing. So minus 10,000, 10,000 written into the X and Z and click go and it will show you exactly where the slime chunks in and around you. You can see again around about 10%, but they're in a very different shape. Now you can zoom in and out of this map, maybe to zoom in and find a little bit more interest on here, get the coordinates a little bit more specific, or you can zoom out and see if you can find a set of slime chunks that you're most interested in. For example, there are five slime chunks all in one go just here. So maybe you wanna make a mega slime farm out of that one. Also notice that there are numbers down at the bottom of the screen, the X and Z numbers specifically. So if I mouse over this green box just here, very close to where I'm standing in the world, it says minus 10,009, 10,022. And I know that if I now move to that coordinate, I will be standing inside a slime chunk. And that's very useful to know. You've also got the chunk numbers, minus 626 and 626. You can get all of these from your F3 screen. I'm gonna show you that right now. I've come in game to find that slime chunk. If I press the F3 key, that brings all of my HUD up. And I can see that my X and Z is currently minus 10,013. 10,032, but if I look at the block that I'm standing on, that matches up. I need to find minus 10,008, 10,023, which should be somewhere over here. And if I keep looking at the ground, I've got underwater, but that's okay. Looking at block 10,024, 10,023. So this block here is within the necessary slime chunk that we're talking about. So if I just block up, like this and stand on that, I know that I'm right in the middle of the slime chunk. Remember, it doesn't matter that it's in the water unless the water goes below Y40 because we're gonna be digging down to find the slimes in a slime chunk. 
Now I can do a little trick to bring up all of my chunk borders. And this trick is useful for both of the methods for finding slime chunks. Press F3 and G at the same time. And you get this grid that goes all the way up to build height limit and will go all the way down to Y equals zero. And if I just float up here, you can see this is the chunk that I am in. And that means this is the borders of my slime chunk. I can then dig right down below Y40 and know that slimes will spawn in this area. I'm not gonna do that because the second method is all about digging. We need to dig down to below Y40. And assuming that you're gonna be looking to make a slime farm, I'd recommend Y39 because then you are at the top level for a slime farm. You need some fences, some gates, some light sources. I've got jack-o'-lanterns, they're perfect, but torches will do, and let's get digging. We're down at Y39, bring up the HUD, you can see there the Y value is 39. And if I press F3 and G again, that brings up our chunk borders. All oh, I'm very, very nearly in the corner of a chunk border, and that's quite useful. We are gonna be building some tunnels, and it's good to do it along the edge of a chunk border because it gives you a guide. So the fact that I've got a chunk border right on this wall is actually a complete fluke, but very useful. We're gonna dig tunnels that are at least five wide and at least three high along the border wall that we can see here, just as a guide. And we're gonna build them straight along for at least six chunks. So let's start doing this. The reason we are going five across and at least three high is because slimes need a three by three area with a two and a half block height to be able to spawn, or at least the largest ones do. And to be honest, we don't want to lose any opportunities of slime spawning. So we want the small, medium, and large ones all able to spawn. They can spawn at any light level, which is why we need these lights, to make sure we keep it above level seven, meaning that no other spawns are gonna happen other than slimes down in this area. Now you may wish to be very aware of caves and things like that that are around where you are, because if there are dark places, those things could spawn creepers and zombies and goodness only knows what, that will take away from the mob cap that these slimes will spawn in. And given that slimes are really shy and don't like spawning anywhere near other mobs, you might find that if you've got any dark spots, your slimes might not spawn at all. Now, when you get to a chunk border wall, take out one more row of blocks like that, so you're one block past it, and then grab your fences and put a fence there, fence there, fence there, and fence there, and a gate in the middle, so you can pass through it dead easy. Then come through and carry on mining until you've done all the chunks you need to do. We have got a tunnel that is completely lit up that is six chunks long. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Whilst it is unlikely, it is possible that six chunks might not be long enough and you may not pass through a slime chunk. If you want, you can do some other chunks going in other directions just to catch more area. But I found that six generally catches one slime chunk. Now, I'm stood in the center of this tunnel, so it's right against the fence of the third chunk. So there's three chunks on either side, and I'm just going to look at what my coordinates for X and Z are. They are 10,079 by 10,002. I'm now gonna go up to the surface, and I'm gonna stand at least 24 blocks above my head right now. So I'm currently Y39, so I need to be standing on at least Y63. That is gonna mean that this entire tunnel on these X and Z coordinates are gonna be within spawning range of me, meaning that any slimes will spawn in this area if they can. Again here, I stress, if there are any other dark spots, you could find other mobs are spawning in there, meaning slimes won't spawn in here. So do make sure you light as much up as you can. When you go back to the surface, don't go to the end of your tunnel and up and down because you need to dig yourself pretty much straight up from the middle section of your tunnels. And I'll tell you why. It's got nothing to do with you escaping upwards. It's got everything to do with you coming back downwards. If you go all the way to the end of that tunnel over there and go up and then come back, that's fine. But when you go all the way back to come back again, any slimes that may have spawned at the other end of the tunnel will be sufficiently far away to have despawned. And as a result, you'll never see them. So make sure that you dig yourself up, straight up if you can, out of the side of your tunnel right here. So you also might wanna come armed with something like ladders or blocks that you can easily mine out to come back down again. I'm stood 
in exactly the same X and Z coordinates now up on the surface. I'm actually at 71 because that's where the level of the land is. That's absolutely fine. That is still well within spawning area for that entire tunnel. It's also another reason for doing it six. If you do it much longer, you find that the ends of your tunnels, those chunks fall outside of the spawning radius of you and you end up not getting anything spawning there anyway. I'm just gonna stand here for five, 10 minutes just to give any slimes a chance to spawn underneath my feet. Hopefully they will, and then we can go and check whether or not there's anything in any of those chunks that we marked out. And you can see why we put the fences in there, because that way any slimes that spawn in their own chunk can't move to another chunk and fool us into thinking that the wrong chunk is the slime chunk. You don't wanna get your chunks wrong. That's been about five minutes, so let's get ourselves back down and see whether or not we've had any slimes drop into our trap. We sometimes can hear them before we even get to the bottom, but oh, I can hear a telltale sign actually. Let's have a look. Be very careful when you're coming out because it could be in the chunk that you come out into, but it's not. But we've got two chunks here that have said they are slime chunks. This second chunk right here and the, is that the fourth or the fifth chunk right over there? We've definitely got slime spawning in those two. If you don't get any slime spawning, it might be that you've missed a slime chunk or it might be that they've just not had a chance to spawn. Perhaps it's because there are dark areas around and they've been taken up with other mobs. Or perhaps they're just a little bit shy. Go back up to the surface, give it another five minutes and see whether or not that works. And if not, repeat this process. If you still find that you don't have anything, there is another one thing you can do, but make sure you've bought your swinging arm because you're gonna need to dig out a whole lot more. And when I say a whole lot more, I mean a whole lot more. As you can see, I'm doing this in the 117 snapshots because we've got things like these geodes that we've cut through to be able to make this. But all in all, this is what you would end up doing. It's a six by six and you are virtually 99.9% .9 guaranteed to get yourself a slime chunk when you cut out this sort of size. And you can see why it's best to try the strip method first because this takes ages, although it will be a really good way to find other biomes in the 117 update once it comes out properly. Like last time, we come to the center. So you can see this time the center is genuinely the center. I've got a hole that goes all the way up. Notice that our ladder doesn't start at the bottom. Smaller slimes can climb ladders and you don't want that happening. Let's get ourselves up to the top. Just hang around for a few minutes and see what we've got downstairs afterwards. When I came back down after about 10 minutes, it looks to me like we've got one, two, three, four chunks here out of the 36 is a six by six square that have got slimes in. If you think about it, that's about right. 10% of chunks are slime chunks. So we've got a six by six square of chunks here. It makes sense that three or four of them would be slime chunks. So that works out pretty well. And once you know where your slime chunks are, you can then either just keep coming down and bashing them, or you can make yourself a slime farm, but that's a subject for another video. Minecraft 117 slime farm coming soon. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoy them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.